<clears throat> and Malden is secure. I'll tell Griswold the package is incoming. It's been a goddamn pleasure. Pleasure was all mine. Aw, now I'm going to cry. If everything runs like it's supposed to, our paths shouldn't cross again in the field. But knowing how pear-shaped things go, see you around. Tom wants you for something. Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many synths are at stake. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the synth's fate is literally in your hands. Desdemona. Please. Work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many synths are at stake. I'll stick with my people in the Minutemen. Of course I'm disappointed. But hopefully in time you'll come around. The fate of the synths depends on it. Desdemona. Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many synths are at stake. I'll stick with my people in the Minutemen. Of course I'm disappointed. But hopefully in time you'll come around. The fate of the synths depends on it. Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many synths are at stake. I'll work with you then. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. <sighs> what I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. There's a man, or a woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. I can't safely contact someone we've never met who has no idea we're trying to do so. <sighs> Patriot sends us one-way communications. Tom's devised a way to use those messages to send him a message. We can plant a coded message on an Institute terminal, and if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. Hey, it's Fixer! Fixer's back! Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? 
the Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. How much damage would it cause if, if, if we let them hit us? We're running out of places to hide our synths. That's why we put so many eggs in one crowded basket to begin with. So what would we lose? Four synths, Stockton, some of our best agents, and the inevitable civilian casualties? No, not this time. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them, hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? With me working the inside angle, this is doable. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone, and then spring the trap. You'll know when. You'll probably have a coarser escort. You'll have to take them down. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Is all this really worth it? We can't afford to sacrifice Stockton and the synths. There's just too few of us left. And we can't relocate them without compromising your cover. It's a risk, but it's one we have to take. So get it done. The route's been cleared. H-222 is safe to move. I know. I already got an earful from Glory about Malden. Operational security is worth the occasional crossed wire. Anyway, Amari reports H-222 made it out safely. Then it all worked out. The crisis is over for now. Take this. You've earned it.